today i would like to show you how to measure uh, propeller shaft bearing clearances using a wear down gauge our vessel uh, is a tri dock so i thought of uh, giving a video on uh, taking measurement of uh, propeller shaft bearing so all of the above we can see a lot of lot of barnacles built so before uh, starting to take the clearance you have to remove the lock nut on top of the wear down gauge installation area remove the plug and keep it safe and then you have to use uh, the wear down gauge which is given for that particular ship by the maker and uh, you can see there is no oil inside the bearing area because all the oil had been completely drained out so what we do is we will be taking the reading in the top and bottom so first uh, we will take the reading from the top side and then we go for the bottom side so okay now you have to thread the wear down gauge on top of the plug area you can see both the wear down gauge and uh, the measuring area have a thread so just thread it and you have to make sure it is completely inserted inside the thread just tighten it properly so that you don't miss any measurement value that is what uh, the yard people is doing so after tightening it this is the uh, lift that you can go up and down it's a scale so just make sure it is properly going up and down and tightening this is what he is checking the movement of the scale so now what you need to do is lower it down and tighten it so now the reading has been taken and it is same like how we check our uh, vernier uh, you know vernier reading the same way so okay now it is totally tight it is in place and the gauge has been tightened okay so now we have to remove it and uh, next thing we will be checking for the bottom side bottom side uh, clearance again the same way remove the plug properly take it out and make sure uh, you are removing the copper washer which is which is uh, kept inside the plug because sometimes if you missed out the copper washer that 1 mm or 2 mm washer will add on as a clearance in your data so that thing you have to keep it in mind so okay so next again you can see there is no oil as i said it's already drained now we are fitting the wear down gauge so just thread it very easily don't push it thread should go very easy that means uh, there is no issues in the thread area you can see we are tightening the gauge so usually what happens is this they do when uh, we are in when the vessel is carrying out underwater inspection also the same way the diver will go down and check the clearances so at that time it is a little uh, uneasy to see the see how they are fixing the tool and how they are taking the measurement so since it is a dry dock uh, we can easily make it out so again just check the movement of the scale it is moving properly so just push it down properly when it uh, hit the shaft just tighten it that's all you can see it is now holded and this is how you have to take the clearances so now we had taken clearance for both top and bottom side so two readings we will be taking and whatever reading we are taking for the you know the 
clearance for the bearing no you have to write it and keep it in the record so that uh, you it will access here reference of how much clearance how much how much wear had been uh, taken place during the entire five year shaft so next again after uh, the same one we are taking the clearance after fitting the new seals and new bush so again uh, we are doing the same way fitting it taking the clearance from top usually when the clearance is high what they do is uh, they would like to change the you know the bush and uh, mostly the bush will get worn out so they will change the bush i will show the bush on the next video how the bush will looks like so the second reading was taken uh, the earlier reading was taken when the, with the old bush so since the wear down is more so we decided to fit a new bush and change the seal and everything so after doing that we are taking the measurement one more time so to confirm the measurement so this is your uh, means plug area just plug it you can see um, everything is properly fitted in place and okay okay uh, explanation of this uh, particular shaft i will give you on the next video uh, so now this video is only concerned about uh, how to take uh, clearances for the um, shaft seal uh, like uh, clearance for the bearing after renewal of uh, shaft seal stern tip seal because a lot of confusion comes up when it uh, you know uh, things like uh, how to take how they will insert the gauge and everything mostly it comes uh, to know how to use the wear down gauge simply so it's in the top and uh, top one was taken already you can see the makers the technician was noting down his reading and fitting back the plug in place and tightening it it is a skf seal company you can see all brand new on completely cleaned and everything next is we go down for the bottom side clearance the same way how we took earlier the same way we took we are going to take this also and after taking this we will uh, note it down and keep it in our dry dock record so that this record will be having as a you know just a reference of how much um, wear down has been taken place for the bearing so usually we call it as uh, tail shaft measurement tail shaft um, clearance you know wear down measurement for the stern tube seal so yes we had taken the second measurement also so again the same way make sure the scale is working properly not getting stuck somewhere just fit it in place and tighten the scale and remove it note down the reading that's it so i believe this video must have given you some information and idea about uh, how to take clearance of uh, propeller shaft bearing using a wear down gauge so most of the time uh, uh, people don't get chance to have a look on how they are taking this uh, measurement so if you have any doubt you can always message me or you can whatsapp me i will definitely reply you thank you all thanks for watching